Man says he's traveled back in time to save our world. And he's come with proof. November 2nd of the year 2000, a time traveler started posting on a time travel forum claiming he was a soldier sent back in time from the year 2036 to 1975. He needed to retrieve parts from an IBM 5100 computer system as this was essential to debug and fix his computer systems in his time that ran time travel technology. This tastes like your mom booty. So good. He went by the name of John Teeter. Now you may think this is all fake and just word of mouth from John, but he came with proof. But he also came with a warning that three billion of us would not be living soon and that we had catastrophic events that would occur. Oh, and he explained it all in detail. Now the first time John reached out was actually a fax sent to a radio host named Art Bell on July 28th, 1998. See, Art Bell was running a radio segment where he wanted to get calls in from time travelers. Most people who called in were just joking, but this fax that he got seemed a little too on the serious side. I had the facts when I heard other time travelers calling in from any time past the year 2500 AD. Please let me explain. Time travel was invented in 2034. Offshoots of certain successful fusion reactor research allowed scientists at CERN to produce the world's first contained singularity engine. The basic design involved rotating singularities inside a magnetic field. By altering the speed and direction of rotation, you can travel both forward and backwards in time. Time travel could be understood in the terms of connected lines. When you go back in time, you travel to your original timeline. When you turn your singularity engine off, a new timeline is created due to the fact that you and your time machine are now there. In other words, a new universe is created and immediately throw the engine into forward without turning it off. Some interesting outcomes of this are 1. You meet yourself. I've done it often and even taken the yoga version of myself along for a few rides before returning myself to the new timeline and going back to mine. 2. You can alter history in the new universe that you have created. Most of the time the changes are subtle, sometimes I'll notice car models that don't exist or books that come out late. The oldest one was a skyscraper that wasn't built in a near favorite store of mine in New York. Interestingly, when you travel in time, you must compensate for the orbit of the Earth. Since the machine doesn't move, you have to adjust the engine so you remain on the planet when you turn it off. Unfortunately, it is also discovered that anyone going forward in time from the year 2036 hit a brick wall in the year 2564. Everyone who has been there has reported that nothing exists. When the machine is turned off, you find yourself surrounded by blackness and silence. Now most time travelers are trying to find out where the line went bad by going into the past, creating a new universe, and proceeding forward to see if the same thing results in 2564. It appears that the line went bad around the year 2000. I'm here now. I'm in this time. Please pray that we discover the reason why there is no apparent future after 2536. Our Bell was very surprised and wanted to know more, but didn't hear back that day until a second fax came in days later. Dear Mr. Bell, I'm glad you're back. I faxed this information to you the day before you left the air. I have been on this world since April of this year and I plan to leave soon. Typically, time travelers do not purposely affect the world lines they visit. However, this mission is unusually long and I've grown attached to some of the people that I've met here. Anyways, for my own reason, I've decided to help this world line by sharing information about the future with a few people in the hope that it will help their future. I believe you could change your future by creating one. I realize my claims are difficult to accept, so I will send the following once I know you have received this fax, a few pages from the operations manual of my time machine, and a few colored photographs of my vehicle. If you wish to contact me, I will be happy to share with you the nature of time. Please send a return package to Our Bell never heard back again from this guy. But two years later, on November 2nd, in the year 2000, someone using the handle time travel underscore zero would arrive on the internet, explaining the details of how his time machine worked. And later he'd pop up on post to post Art Bell's time travel forum. And the world would learn about John Teeter. Yeah, baby, I like it like that. Woo. Mm -mm -mm. Now, people were like, yo, I don't believe you. Do you have proof? And he actually showed a picture of his time machine and explained how it worked. But just a warning, it's a bunch of nerd mumbo jumbo. That actually makes a lot of sense if you know what scientists say about time travel. My time machine is a stationary mass temporal displacement unit manufactured by General Electric. The unit is powered by two top spin dual positive singularities that produce a standard offset Tipler sinusoid. Peter said his time machine contained dual micro singularities, an electron injection manifold, a cooling and x-ray venting system, gravity sensors, four main CCM clocks, and three main computer units. 
All of this was housed in a 1976 Chevrolet Corvette convertible. Okay, cool. He explained how the time machine worked and told you about the parts. But what was his warning of our future? Teeter claimed that the American Civil War would begin in 2008, leading to a nuclear exchange in 2015 that would erase 3 billion people. He claimed that after this, Omaha, Nebraska would become the US's new capital and that the US would create time travel in the 2030s because of this. He said people who survived the war would become closer together. Life would be centered around community and family. Ooh, this is special sauce I made. It's so good, dude. Back to the story. He said an average day in 2036 is like an average day on a farm. I live in a community made up of tree houses on a large river in Florida. Most of our neighbors make a living off the sea or in moving cargo by boat. Before he left, Tito left one message for us in 2001. Perhaps I should let you in on a little secret. No one likes you in the future. This time period is looked at as being full of lazy, self-centered, civically ignorant sheep. Now did any of his predictions come true or was it just all a hoax? Because clearly me and you were still alive. There was never a civil war in 2008, never a nuclear war in 2015. He did say the future of entertainment would be decentralized and anybody could make entertainment for you. We watch a lot of videos on social media now and people have the freedom to post it whenever they want. So he was right about that. Oh, and he also said that there would be a mad cow disease breakout, which did happen in the early 2000s. He did say the Olympic games would be canceled in 2004. That never happened. Mm -mm -mm. Stephen Hawking said that whatever entered a black hole would disappear. John Teeter said that that wasn't true. A while later, Stephen Hawking took back that initial hypothesis and changed his mind, agreeing with what John said. Now look, I know, many people believe this was all one big hoax. Just like this big burrito. A lot of them suspected a lawyer out in Florida who was very intelligent of writing and faking the John Teeter emails as a big joke. However, there's enough of John Teeter's evidence that some people believe that he actually did come back. He actually did save our timeline and changed our future from destruction. But let me know what you think. And make sure you follow because my next story is insane.